Hello everyone, I welcome you to my channel and from today I shall take the initiative to explain the detailed analysis from the Assam Tribune newspaper and the exam perspectives topics will be discussed here and today I have taken the most important five topics that is important for the upcoming examination of the APSC and also the UPSC. Okay, so without any further delay, I shall start my lecture today. Okay, so I have just uh, shown this page, front page, so that you believe that I have taken the topics from this paper itself. Okay, so just let me show you just a, a simple demonstration for that. See, this one, these are the things. Okay, then for that, I have taken a different blank slides and I will explain you what are the topics that I will discuss today. Okay. In the first, we will discuss about the election process that is going on in the United States. So what we have to know about is that the U.S. election process is an indirect, okay, it's an indirect election. Just listen to me carefully. Here, the citizens of the United States who are registered, who are registered, To vote in one of the 50 US states or say in Washington DC they cast their ballots not directly for those offices but instead for members of the Electoral College you have to remember that one okay so as we all know the United States it consists of how much states for 50 states okay, 50 states then I have referred the term electoral college and you need to know what is the electoral college that is related to the US presidential election process so when we talk about the electoral college I'll write this in a short form electoral college what we understand is that it refers to the group of presidential electors presidential electors you need to give me some time because right now in my area I'm not getting to purchase the digital pen okay I have ordered for this right now I'm just using a traditional uh, pen that is a homemade pen so just bear with me for sometimes but important is that listen to me okay you listen to me you will get the context or the text everything when you search it in the textbook or in the website too okay so what i was discussing is that the electoral college of the united states it refers to the group of the presidential electors required by the constitution to form every four years remember this four years for the purpose of electing the president and say the vice president too but our topic of discussion here is related to the presidential election so the difference is that in our india the presidential election process term is five years and there in the united states it is four years so you have to remember the term it might come in the question paper of the state related examination okay so moving to the next discussion what we have to understand here is that the date and how the counting or how this election process takes place number one just listen to me number one is that the national presidential election that takes place that starts on the first tuesday after november 1st remember this November 1st we are in the November month right that's why this election is going on so they follow this pattern that is like the national presidential election day that is on the first Tuesday remember first Tuesday 
after November 1. So here, each state that counts its popular votes according to its laws to select the electors. Right. Then, the electors, what they will do? The electors of, of each state, they meet in their respective state, okay, capital on the first Monday after the second Wednesday. You might get confused here, but just listen to me. I will repeat this. The electors of each state, they meet in the separate respective state capital on the first Monday. First Monday. On the first Monday after the second Wednesday of December. Of December to cast their votes. So this is the pattern they follow there. Okay. Then what we need to understand here again the results the results the results are counted by the congress okay so there the parliament is there one of the part of congress and here we have different okay we have lok sabha rajya sabha okay then here see the results are counted by congress where they are tabulated in the first week, first week of January, before a joint meeting of the Senate. Okay, important term you have to remember here is the Senate, the most powerful house of the Congress. Then next. Just you need to remember here is last is the elected president are inaugurated on the January 20. The elected president are inaugurated on the January 20. So this is important because the APSC or the other state related examination might ask. So from the day how it, the election process starts and what are the process from the start to the end or say the uh, inauguration date they might ask it you never know okay so here my first topic of discussion to the u.s presidential election process has come to an end and i hope you all have understood what i have explained right now now moving to the next next topic is the most controversial news or the consistency okay in the news channel okay the person that you will see or hear is our Arnab Goswami so this become important for the APSC because you know Arnab Goswami is one of the most influential personalities that belongs from the Assam that belongs from Assam. Now, it is not important to talk why he is arrested right now, what are the backgrounds or what are the controversy. Our point here to understand is about the backgrounds or about the important book or the awards or what are his credits or what are his works. We have to read about this from the exam perspective point. Number one, number one, what we have to know is that he is regarded as the famous journalist. The first thing you have to remember is that he is regarded as the famous journalist of Assam. See, it becomes important here. Of Assam, born in Guwahati, when? In 1973. And important is that he is the co-founder, co-founder of republic tv remember this so let me just repeat he is the most famous one of the most famous journalist of assam and born in 1973 in assam and the co-founder of the republic tv the next what we have to know about is that about his education he studied he studied in delhi university and Oxford University becomes important. 
the examiners might ask this question okay paper setter they might ask this question the u and the oxford university where he studied or completed his academic life then and the third what we have to read is that the awards that he received first i am not going to talk everything okay not all the awards i will mention here but some of the important one like you know he is awarded with the prestigious awards like what ramnat 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 going ka award okay these are all like uh, related to the journalist uh, journalist uh, sector then in the number 2 what we can find here is the asian television award asian television award and many more he received many awards and also he was the president of the news broadcasting associations national governing body remember he was the president of the news broadcasting associations national governing body the most important what i will discuss here is about the notable credits that he have done the credits number 1 remember this the news news are okay one and two is like what are his notable credits number two frankly frankly speaking frankly speaking with or no remember this and in the three third credit what we find is i'm really sorry third third credit what we find is the debate with arnab goswami we know all this about okay the debate with arnab goswami and the last nation nation wants to know nation wants to know the debate here so these are the credits uh, that i have mentioned here i'll just repeat number 1 is the news hour number 2 is the frankly speaking with arnab Number three is the debate with Arnab Goswami. Number four, nation wants to know. So these are the important topics that you have to remember, referring to the exam perspective. Now third, what we read about is the most important. That is the National Green Tribunal. Okay, why this is in news? Remember about the Bagzan oil gas leak controversy. Okay. that has impact our important national park that is the dibru saikoa national park you have to remember this then here what we have to read about the ngt what is ngt and why it was formed but before that let me just say here appointed panel for legal action is being appointed okay that is the you have to remember b p katake BP Katake Committee. BP Kapaka, sorry, BP Katake Committee. Here in the third, what we have to discuss is about the NGT. So why this? Entity is in news related to the Assam perspective. So recently, we have the incident of Bagjan. Bagjan gas blowout, or we can say the Bagjan gas leak. And for that, panel has been appointed under the Justice B P B P Katake. Remember this, B P Katake. Katake Committee. So that means, like it has alleged the Oil India Limited for uh, connection with the Bagjan gas blowout incident. So this is why it becomes important. And referring to the background of the NGT, what we can find is that NGT Act was formed in two thousand and ten, and it is an act of parliament not an constitutional act okay this is an act of parliament hmm. which enables the creation of a special tribunal 
to handle the expeditious disposal of the cases that is relating to the environmental issues it specifically is being formed for the improvement of the environmental and all the cases that is related to the environmental problems is being heard or being seen by the national green tribunal that's why this national green tribunal becomes important now moving to the next what we have here is dr bupen hajarika why it becomes important so we have the death anniversary today related to dr bupen hajarika and here what is important is like he is also one of the famous personalities of assam that's why this topic becomes important here so what we have to discuss here is that first dr bupen hajarika is popularly called by the name Sudha Kanta, okay. Remember this. They might ask the question, who is being referred to as the Sudha Kanta? Okay. The answer will be Dr. Bupen Hajarika. Then remember, he was born on eight. He was born on eight September, nineteen twenty-six, in Sardia. It becomes important here. Okay. Then, the next what we find is that I don't want to talk about her like his father's or I don't want to write, but I'll just say it. Remember, his father Nilakanta Hajarika is his name, and mother is Shanti Priya Hajarika. Just remember this. Then, uh, talking about his work, the first what he did is that he worked at All India Radio, All India. All India Radio, but not for the longer period, just for the few days. All India Radio that is in Guwahati, okay, that is in Guwahati. The next what we have to read about is that he won the scholarship from the Columbia University, from Columbia, from Columbia University, that is in New York, and completed his PhD. in the mass communication in the mass communication just have to remember this so these are the factual things that will be asked in the questions then he recorded his first song for the selona company we have to remember this for the selona company okay for the selona company then he also sang the two songs two songs in the film famous film that is indra indramati in 1939 then next at guwahati university he served as a lecturer for few years then he left to kolkata for his different works then he received the award okay like um, for the movie for the movie or for the films like shakuntala we all know about this and this is one of my favorite movie shakuntala and then one is ira bator sur remember ira ira bator sur okay ira bator sur and the last is the prati dhwani Okay, Prati Dhwani. Many, but I will discuss only about these two. This one is Prati. Prati Dhwani. Okay. Then uh, he also received the award for his directorial work. That is for the movie Lati Ghati. Lati. Lati Ghati. Okay. These are his uh, awards for the movie, and uh, yeah, these are the most important thing that. he has done or he has received and he also received the assam assam ratna in 2009 and also the patma bibushan patma important national award patma bibushan but not during his life 
but after he is dead that is like posthumously he was ever dead that is in 2012 then the latest is in 2019 2019 posthumously he was awarded the bharat ratna this becomes very important here that is in 2019 and by the way he died on the 5th november 2011 you have to remember this okay then i hope that you all will just uh, search in wikipedia or website about him then you will find many things related to him how he has uh, done the very beautiful uh, like contribution in the film industry or for the assam society composed many songs okay in many different languages then here i am not able i will not be able to discuss everything related to him i will just give a small uh, demonstration or illustration about him then our last topic also will be important here let's move to the last topic this is also very important yeah today my topics are all related to the news that will be uh, beneficial for the for the upcoming examination that like apsc pnrd okay state government examination so here last what we will discuss about this assamese film maker begs the award in the united kingdom so what is her name i will discuss here her name is hira moni hira moni sharma okay then she is the london based assamese management counselor and journalist management counselor and why she received this award why she backed this award she received her award for her film okay short film the name is remember most important the name is you are limitless you are limitless okay this is important you are limitless what it deals with the challenges of a disabled person that is a dwarf both physically and emotionally and she backed the prestigious that is the reading film maker award of the united kingdom so these are the important topics that i have discussed today five important topics and i hope you all have enjoyed this and in the further lectures i will try my best to bring uh, in presentation more also in a very good manner i'm trying on it i'm working on it for right now you just uh, support me like and subscribe to my channel thank you so much